If you're lacking racket speed on your serve, it may be that you're missing one special move that the pros use, and if you implement it, man, are you going to serve faster. Let me show you. Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to show you the one position the pros get into on their serves to be able to hit incredibly fast speeds. Now, this video is courtesy of Essential Tennis. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I've put their link in the description below. All right, let me show you first the position, and then we're going to show you how to get into that position. But I want you to notice his hand, and then the racket is to the right of his hand. Notice that the racket on its way up to the ball, since he's right-handed, it gets thrown off to the right of his hand. This is not typical in recreational tennis. What you typically see where I'm gonna make his green, his is green, where the racket is actually pointing you know, down off to the right there, the tip of the racket. Most recreational players at best are here with their racket straight under their hand, or we'll say in line with the hand. And actually, at worst, you'll see players in this position where they actually go to the ball from over here. What we want is for the racket to get thrown off to the right of your hitting hand. And when you do that, that is when you're creating incredible speeds. It's actually something that you can look at a picture and know how fast someone's serving. If the racket is here or here, they're not serving very fast. But if the racket is over here, they're serving incredible speeds. Now, let me show you why this is happening. And I'm going to show you some other players as well doing this. It has to do with the elbow and the elbow driving forward and up. Look at his elbow here, driving forward and up. And so his elbow is down and now his elbow is up, where his elbow is down by his side, and now his elbow is like the highest thing in the air right now. His elbow is way up in the air, and it's above head level. When you drive your elbow forward and up, it draws a U with your racket. Check out this U. I'm going to draw a letter U. Look at his racket draw that U. And so his racket is going down and then back up again. And because he has this violent move with his elbow going up like this, that throws the racket off to the right of his hand. Here we have Milos Raonic, courtesy of Zen Rackets on Instagram. And here is Taylor Fritz, courtesy of Liam Apolato over on YouTube with Court Level Tennis. So, we're looking for that position where the racket is to the right of the hand. Here it is. The racket's perfect. Racket is to the right of his hand. Here's Taylor. Same position. Racket is to the right of their hand. Now, this position that they're getting in is a byproduct of two things. Looseness and the elbow. So look at their elbow. Look at Taylor's first. Look at his elbow making this move. You have to make this move with your elbow. And when you're super loose, it throws the racket head off to the right of your hand. Here's Raonich making that same elbow move. It almost looked like, looks like he's trying to lead with the elbow to hit the ball with the elbow. He tosses it up, and it looks like he's trying to hit the ball with the elbow. And when you combine that movement, the elbow going up, with the looseness, the racket will get thrown off to the right of your hand. On the left, here's Djokovic, courtesy of Essential Tennis, and this just happens to be me. And I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely not saying I have a serve like Djokovic. Um, but notice his elbow coming forward and up, leading with that elbow. That is so important. And look at his racket. It is going off to the right of his hand. Now, I am not as flexible as these players at all. I don't have the shoulder flexibility. So right there is about the best I can do. You can see that it's slightly to the right of my hand where it's not, you know, in line and it's definitely not to the left, but I'm doing my best, right? <laughs> I, I, the fastest I can serve anymore is about a hundred miles an hour. Um, I used to serve, be able to serve faster, but I'm not as flexible as I used to be when I was younger and that's the best I can do. But notice my elbow Look at my elbow coming forward. When your elbow comes forward and up, that throws the racket off to the right. What we typically see, and I'll use my serve as, an exp as a demonstration here, what I typically see with recreational players is they will either go to the ball from this point 
or they'll move slightly over and they'll go to here and go to the ball. When what we want is to get thrown over here and then go to the ball. Let's see if I get to that green line. Yep, I do the green line pretty perfectly there. So we want the racket to get thrown off to the right of your head. It's what Vic Braden called, don't scratch your back, scratch your friend's back. All right, let me show you what this looks like in front of the camera. Now it's important to explain that this position where the racket is going to the right of the hand is not a move that you want to force into happening. You want it to be a byproduct of the elbow coming forward and up. When you take your elbow from below shoulder level and you point it, and the feeling is gonna be that you point it up at the ball, that movement makes a circular path for the racket. That's that U that I was talking about. And when you do it fast, the racket gets thrown off to the right of the hand. I do a lot of Zoom lessons every week. I do about a, a dozen Zoom lessons uh, for people all around the world. It's where they send me videos of their technique. We meet live on Zoom, and for an hour we sit down and we analyze their technique, and I give them drills and techniques and things to practice in order to just take their serve to a completely new level. And I would say about half the lessons I do are on the serve, so about six per week. And I would say four, of, four or five of those six on average uh, lessons for the player on their serve their racket never even gets even to their hand. And it typically stays over here by the time they go up to the ball. And that's really a result, yes, of being tight. And if you're tight, you can't let that racket make this move. But it's because there isn't this violent, and I mean that in a good way, this violent move of the elbow driving up toward the ball partly due to the fact that players don't knock off a party hat, which I'll demonstrate in a second here. But we have to understand the path the racket should take. So I, I just alluded to it. Vic Braden used to say, don't scratch your back, scratch a friend's back. So you have to imagine there's somebody next to me and we're both looking that way. So when I serve, the goal isn't that I go to my back. I don't want my racket to go to the back. I don't want to scratch my back. What I want to do, and I'll, I'll put a birthday hat on right now, is I want to move the racket in over my head from front to back. And when you wear a birthday hat, wear it in the front like it's a unicorn horn. You see a lot of players and coaches, they mistake it and they think it's supposed to be in the back, like a ponytail. No, you want it in front. You want it like a, pony, you want it like a, a unicorn horn. You want the racket with palm down, you want the racket passing in over your head, knocking off the party hat. And as you're doing that, you want to simultaneously knock the party hat off and drive your elbow forward and up toward the ball. And look what that does to the racket. When you combine the proper movement of knocking off the party hat with the elbow driving forward and up, the racket naturally gets thrown off to the right. Since most players do not knock off the party hat and most players aren't thinking of the elbow, but rather they're thinking go to the back and then go to the ball, they're missing that key to racket speed. The most amount of racket speed you can contribute to a serve is not going to come from the legs. It re it, it's just not. The most amount of racket speed that is going to come into this serve, into your serve, is going to be this movement with the elbow. Because you can kneel, you can hit 100, miles an hour, 100 mile an hour serves while kneeling. So, it, driving with the legs is a, is a component to hitting powerful serves, but the basic bones and structure of the swing, of the serve, requires this elbow movement to occur. Let me give you a drill that you can use to help this. The first thing is we want to learn how to bring the elbow forward, and we want to keep it bent as we're making this move. We don't want to straighten our arm. We don't want to straighten our arm to go up to the ball. To bring the elbow forward, the, el the arm has to stay bent, and we drive it up like this. So a drill you can do, and you can do this you know, with me if you'd like, toss a ball up. Now the toss that you're going to have right now is not like the real toss you want to have when you're serving. We're just going to toss a ball up. And what I'm going to do is with my elbow back, I'm going to pull my elbow forward and have the ball land on my elbow just to give myself the feeling and the understanding of what should be happening. So I'm gonna to toss, bring my elbow forward, and the ball lands on my elbow. 
I'm not trying to hit the ball with my elbow. I'm trying to get my elbow there first, then the ball lands on it. This move and this understanding of the elbow making this move, most players do not do this and it's why they struggle with the serve. So get a birthday hat. Knock the party hat off on your serve. And when you do all of this, film yourself so that you know you're doing it. Knock the party hat off and as you're doing this, drive your elbow forward and up toward the ball. And when you film yourself from the back, see that the racket is scratching a friend's back. Remember, my friend is here. I want to scratch their back. I don't want to scratch my back and then go to the ball. I knock the party hat off, bring my elbow forward and up, and if I'm loose, you can actually practice this drill right here where you try to draw a U with your racket. You're trying to draw the letter U, and you're going to do it because the elbow is coming forward and up. And if you practice that, the birthday hat, the bringing the elbow forward and up, drawing that loose U, and being so relaxed that the racket flies off to the right, and then the amount of racket speed you can create is tremendous. This is partly due to the mechanics of just you know how to throw a ball. Um, and then you can actually, with the racket over here, it's on edge, you can spin the ball, you can pronate and really crush it. It's amazing what happens when players focus on bringing the elbow forward. So if you're struggling with your serve, film yourself. See if your racket's going to the ball from behind your head, or see if your elbow is coming forward and up and the racket's getting thrown off to the right of your hand on its way to the ball. And if you do, there's no doubt, you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.